Dear precious and heavenly Father, thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Yes. Lord, we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Yes. Father, because you are God. Yes. Yes. We thank you. Despite the reason why we're gathered here, Lord. Yes. We thank you. We thank you. Because you are our God. You yes. are our protector. And Father, as we gather here, let us remember, Lord. That any life lost is a valuable life. Any life lost is a life that you created. Yes. And any life lost deserves remembrance. Yes. So, Father, we gather here and we give you this time. Yes. And we give you the glory. We give you the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being here this evening. We gather here to stand together for peace in San Diego. Specifically this evening, we stand together in grief, recognizing the loss of a life to our community. We stand here together in hope, hope that in our gathering, in our prayers, in our petitions, in our tears, and yes, in our love, we will be a light to the community, a light that shines in the darkness, a light that will slowly penetrate the darkness and burst forth, shining in the peace of human community, caring for one another, seeking the best for each other, being the light of the world for one another. Before we do our litany, we're going to light our candles. by this act of violence for each of us whose lives are diminished by this loss we join we our voices and cry for peace. peace for divine mercy and kindness send, send us, us your peace. peace for shared sorrow and grief send, send us, us your peace. peace for the comfort of friends and family neighborhood and community send, send us, us your peace, peace. For the touch of hand, eye contact, a hug, a word, a handshake, and embrace. Send us your peace. God grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Send us the courage to change violence into your peace. Amen. 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 We thank the Lord for each and every one of you that made it out today. And um, if anyone has anything that they want to speak, or if you, if you uh, knew Paris Hill, you most definitely at this time are free to say something about him, or anyone that just have something you want to share with us. At this time, we open it up for you uh, to express yourself. I'm from uh, Peace, and, Peace and Unity Movement, uh, founded by Mr. Stacy Butler. This is our photographer, chemistry, and um, this is the first murder that we had this year. We tried to stop all violence in San Diego. Unfortunately, one of our children was shot and killed. Um, we just came out to give our blessings because we're really trying to stop this gang violence. It's just, it's just bad. And we have to stand out on some of the most dangerous corners every other week trying to do our best to stop this violence. We just thank you for everybody to welcome us here. Thank you. Anyone else? 
but I most definitely have something to say, you know, as always. But um, like uh, my brother said, that this is one of the first homicides that we have to deal with this year, and we hope that it be the last homicide that we have to deal with. Uh, last year, we know that when we're looking at the gang violence, uh, the, the police department has three homicides, but we know that we have 15 homicides that have taken place in our communities. And uh, if we want to count others, we can even go further than that. So we have a lot of uh, violence that has been happening. We don't want to see that this year. We want to bring peace into our community. And we have to remember that these individuals, these young men and young women that are losing their lives, they have souls, they are people, they are human beings. And um, you know, we, we have to have the same kind of concern and love uh, for them as we would have for anyone else. Uh, we have to reach out to try to help our young people that are on these streets and uh, caught up in the web of violence. We have to get out there and do something about it. If they're on their way to trouble, we have to prevent, try to prevent them to, from getting into trouble. They're already in trouble. We need to intervene to get them out of trouble. And if they are in trouble, I'm one to say, be the first one to say, then we got to do everything we can to protect our community. So we, we for sure, we want to reach out, we want to help, and we want to say, but at the same time, we do not want to see any more violence. So if that means that uh, we have to take whatever measures we have to take to do that, that is legally and that is righteously, then we would do it. Most definitely thank you all for coming out. Let us keep praying for uh, the family, for April Hill and, and for Manuel Cobbs uh, and, and uh, their families and the friends and those that have been affected uh, by this loss. Um, and if anybody else have anything else they want to say, we most definitely, uh, you know, you have that opportunity. I know sometimes take a little time to think about what you want to say. But if uh, you have something you want to say, you can say it now. We're going to move forward. My name is Pastor Renee Colon. Uh, just wanted to share that as a young man growing up in gangs, just like uh, most of the brothers in here, uh, you know, adults wouldn't look at me. They wouldn't pay me any attention. They would shy away from me. I was just a young man. The people that would look at me are the people out there committing crimes. So who did I pay attention to? Those who paid attention to me. When you see these young people on the street, have the courage to walk up to them and say, good morning, good afternoon, how are you doing? Shock them, because they don't think you care about their existence. Right. Let them know that you right. care about their existence. Let them know that you see them. I also want to say that every human being, every life is valuable. And that's why we're here, to honor the person that has passed away. And as a group of volunteers that we have gathered, pastors and organizations, we're trying to bring peace into the community. We're trying to be supportive of the families that have lost a loved one. But at the same time, we want to do something before this happens. And so as reformed gang members, everyone wants to know, can a gang member change? Can he change his life around? Yes, can he, he can. turn it around? Yes, yes he, he can. can. That's why we're here. And what helped us, we believe that the same way we changed, there's still, there's gang members out there that want to change. Yes. They don't know how to change. We're here to tell them that it is possible to change. And, and can I just say something else about the, I was just thinking, I always, you know, me and Stacy, uh, people don't realize they see a miracle when they see people like myself and Stacy Butler coming together. You know, when we, we came up around the same time during the gang banging era, and you know, I was a crib, he was a blood, and we were at war, his homies killing my homies, my homies killing his homies, and we were able to come together and love and work together to bring peace in the community. So we know that this can be done, and we know that we can make a change and make a difference if we come together as a community. Amen. I'd like to say something. It's a little intimidating, to be honest with you, with all these cameras in here, because uh, I know when I, I just found out about uh, Paris' death this morning, When I think of Paris, I work with Paris at a school, as, as many of us. And, um, uh, you know, he's a, he was a little kid that grew up in the elementary school that we worked at. So we saw him year after year you know, grow and uh, just share his spirit and, and learn um, and teach me, as so many of us taught, you know, just about a uh, how to laugh at things, how to uh, show resilience, you know, even when he had a lot of hardships in front of him. Um, he 
had a very supportive family, and um, I hope that's what he's remembered for. And, and I know you guys are here today, and I very much appreciate that. But we walked here in here, um, just wanting to hold on to the love that he gave to us um, and what he taught us. And, um, and I hope that's why he's remembered. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. And if there's any, if uh, anyone else that knew Paris Hill, we most definitely like to hear from you, whether you're a friend or family member. Uh, if, you, if someone else have anything they want to share, you can share with us for sure. Anyone else? All right. Uh, so Pastor Renee is going to have you lead us in the song here. Okay. Um, and we're, it's, up. It, it's at the bottom, right where it says closing conclusion, so please join in. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come unto you to say thank you, Lord. Thank you for this day. Father, we thank you for those who have came out, Father God, to speak and give their voice to be heard, Father God, that we need peace in the community, Father God. And we know that you are God that is able to do just that. May you continue to bless this family, touch them, strengthen them, and give them the courage, Father God, to continue through one more day. So, Father God, we thank you for love and support, Father God, and bless our dear son, Father God, here, uh, Mr. Hill. So, Father God, we glorify you, we thank you, and now as we go forward, as we leave this place, we never leave thy sight, Father God. Let us continue to remember that you are a God of love, and so therefore we want to spread the love that you have embedded within us. We give you all the praise and we give you glory. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Thank Amen. You. Amen. Thank you all for coming out. Thank you. And, and I just want to say that this, this moment was set aside just to remember his life. But there are people here that actively do things to prevent violence. If you're interested, we'll, we'll be here for a few minutes. Give us your contact info or take ours. Uh, we are definitely doing a lot of different things to prevent things like this.